there was a message that came through for the collective in terms of in in dealing with or navigating these rough energies or this rough time period of change and integration and upgrading and all that stuff um in order to uh, a really really great method of being able to deal with that is spending time with nature as much time with nature as you can the plants and the animal kingdom are your greatest allies right now I know for many of us, um, that is all the, all, I mean, I, I don't want to, obviously don't speak for everybody here. Um, however, we all seem to be on the same page or on a similar, if not the same wavelength. So many of y'all will understand this, but I'm finding for me, it's, it's much more pleasant limiting the amount of time that I spend with other people and, uh, spending the rest of it with nature like my cats and all the other wild animals that are around here and all the plants. I mean, me and the bugs, we're starting to get along, but like, I don't know about that part. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But like, I don't know. Spending time in nature right now is really going to be your best friend, your greatest ally. Um, and I, I really just feel like being around people right now is just exhausting. And it's not, it's not for any, it's not really for any other reason other than the fact of there's so much that's shifting and changing. There's so much that's going on with all of us as individuals, okay? Whether you are part of this group of the collective that we, in, in which we commune here all the time, or it's, it's the greater whole. Like, everybody is going through some shit right now. There is a lot of change. There's a lot of shift, shifting, a lot of changing that's happening. Um, and what I'm picking up on here is just like energetically, there's so much happening on a cellular level, on a even maybe even a DNA level. Like I'm seeing what I'm seeing is I'm seeing figures of human bodies and the energy within each individual human is like going nuts and like there's all kinds of stuff there's shifts that there are shifts that are happening there are changes that are happening there are upgrades that are happening and, and and everybody's everybody's on their own like real wild ride right now so just because of that just that alone when our bodies or when when we get together or when we come in cl closer contact with another human we might be okay for you know a little bit but then all of a sudden you might feel drained you might feel like your your mind is getting foggy um you're having trouble concentrating when you normally don't have com trouble concentrating um and that and, and any i mean it could be a bunch of other symptoms you may start getting headaches um, you may just start feeling low or depressed or just really tired, like you want to lay down, like you need to take a break. Mental fog is a big one uh, that I'm picking up on. But it's because what's going on within each of us individually is reacting to each other as when we get closer. And, and so that kind of like some it puts a little bit of an extra strain on us as we're dealing with these shifts. I don't want that to sound like we're we're telling you to like stay away from people to not hang out with your friends to not go do that this that and the third like we're not saying that but the potential for extra fatigue is higher right now because of all the shifts and all the changes that we're going through so i say all that to say spending as much time with nature as you can right now is a wonderful wonderful aspect it's extremely recharging you guys like i can't even begin to tell you i went out to hang out with my with some friends and there's a friend in town right now so i went out on saturday night we all we went down to one of the the bars i had a few i had some drinks i had dinner with that with everybody and then we ended up at another bar another local really awesome hangout with some really dope house music love that but um, and I, I mean, I was out much later than, than I had been in a very long time, um, and much later than I had actually intended to be out, but it just happened that way. So I was just going with the flow, like whatever. I didn't leave until like around midnight. Um, and like I said, that's pretty out of character for me at this point. Um, but, but I spent all of yesterday recuperating, like I had to completely check out of all signs of interpersonal communication or what like I had to completely check out from being a human yesterday 
<laughs> because I was so drained from just being out on one Saturday night. You know what I mean? Like, and I, and I, I personally understand that I'm shifting and changing. Like I'm getting older and a lot of, a lot of that energy of like being out all night and like shutting down the bar and you know getting wasted and like acting crazy and like that's not me anymore so like i get that but at the same time on an energetic level there was so much interaction interference there was just so much going on it was just so much to handle that yesterday i literally completely checked out and spent the whole day to myself just trying to recuperate and recover because I was so drained from that interaction the night before. So, and, and that is really just, I mean, partially it's me, but also it's a part, it's a, it's an element of the shits and the changing and okay. So what I'm also getting here, you guys, this is okay. So let's call this channeled message section. I might, I might just start having a channeled session message session like before, before morning coffee. But anyway, the other thing that I'm getting for the collective right now is that for some of you, you really have just shifted. You've changed. Okay. Like, I mean, you've changed and you and see, here's the thing, you guys, as we're doing this work, you may not be consciously aware of it, but as you're doing this internal work, this healing work, uh, this self-mastery, this three of pentacles type of work, you are stepping your vibration up incrementally, slowly but surely. One step, one increment at a time. I don't know how we're measuring these increments, okay? But one step at a time, right? And so before you know it, a certain amount of time goes by, a week goes by, a month goes by, a few months goes by, and your vibe is much higher than it was a few months ago, right? When you started the process or whatever. And you're going to notice that when you go out to certain places that you used to love to be around, that... Um, you know, that, you know, it was your, this was like your stomping ground, you know, you were always here on a Friday, Saturday night. If you could have been there every night, you would have like you hanging out with certain people, doing certain activities with certain people and stuff, things that you used to love to do are no longer in alignment with you because technically they are, a, they are of a lower vibe. And I don't want anybody to think that we're being elitists that we're saying anybody is better than anybody else, that any activity is better than anybody else, that all y'all are just some low vibrational POSs and we ain't trying to talk to you. Like that is not even what we're trying to say, you guys, okay? But, and, and, it, and this could also be a situation or a type of energy where you wouldn't even notice. You wouldn't have even noticed how actual low vibe it may be until you've risen above it and now you put yourself back in that situation and you're like, whoa, when did this get, when did this get so low vibe? When did this get so toxic? When did this get X, Y, and Z? And it's like, well, honey, it was always that way. You just never realized it. You didn't see it before. You couldn't see it before. You couldn't see it before. And that's not a bad thing of no fault to no fault of your own, to no fault of anybody else involved. It's just the reality of the situation. Now that you've stepped above it, you can look back on it and say, oh, I get it now. No, no shade. Like increment. This is this is us literally incrementally stepping our way up the ladder. OK, so that's a part of the that's a. Oh, 1111. That's an element of the situation to you guys. All right. Cute. Okay. That was a cute little channeled message. I like that. 